Frequent flyers know that New York's LaGuardia has some of the shortest runways in the country. Pilots say landing there requires precision and good brakes. Billions are now being spent to remake the aging airport, but what about the runways? It's a major safety issue that some worry isn't being addressed. Seven on Your Side's investigative reporter Jim Hoffer is here now with more. Jim? It is the largest infrastructure project in the state. This is a live picture of construction at LaGuardia. When completed in 2020, it'll be a showcase among airports, with one exception, its runways. One, two, three. When Governor Cuomo and the Port Authority broke ground two years ago on a $6 billion LaGuardia rebuild, they promised a totally new LaGuardia. It's going to be a whole new airport. Brand new unified terminal with world-class dining and retail. Brand new gates, brand new roadways, brand new digital check-in. But the same old runways, notoriously short. No room for error. You can slide off the end of the runway real easy. Bob Ober estimates during his long career as a pilot, he took off and landed at LaGuardia thousands of times. J.P. Tristani estimates about the same. These two former pilots always found LaGuardia's runways challenging. Among pilots, LaGuardia has a reputation, doesn't it? Fierce. A fierce reputation. For? Complexity and the stopping distance. When LaGuardia opened in 1939, its short 7,000 feet runways were fine for prop planes, but in the age of jets, the runways failed to measure up. LaGuardia is less safe, not unsafe, it is less safe than other airports. And because of that, these two former pilots find it irresponsible that in a $6 billion remake of LaGuardia, not a penny is going toward making the runways longer. This is certainly doable, and it's certainly doable here as well. You could extend this end of the runway. There's nothing that would stop you extending the runway from here. And there's plenty of recent close calls to underscore the need for longer runways. In 2016, an airliner carrying vice presidential candidate Mike Pence overran the runway. The year before, a plane filled with passengers skidded off a snow-covered runway. And then there's those scary moments we never hear about. Look at the safety reports for anonymous reports where pilots say, boy, I don't want to go through that one again. We searched for those anonymous pilot reports on an aviation safety database. This pilot of a 737 wrote about his landing at LaGuardia, quote, the approach had left us shaken due to runway length. In another report, a pilot forced to abort his landing was placed back into congested airspace in the path of another plane. The pilot writes, quote, this is it. We're going to hit the other plane. I was waiting to hear the crunch of metal. You're bordering on a margin of safety that is, that can be critical, very critical. In response to our investigation, the Port Authority says LaGuardia's runways are fully compliant with all FAA safety guidelines. And several years ago, they added crushable concrete arrestor beds to slow planes that go past the end of the runways. Some pilots say the real fix is lengthening the runways, which will take money and, perhaps harder to come by, political will. It would be a huge safety factor and definitely worth the investment. Port Authority says that as recently as last month, LaGuardia posted stellar results in its most recent FAA airport certification. Interesting to note here that in the past, Governor Cuomo and the Port Authority have said that the runways can only be extended if Rikers Island Prison is closed. Well, both our pilots say that leaves the ends of two other runways that could be extended into the water without impacting Rikers.